Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So um, I uploaded my thoughts a little bit earlier today on the Kringle Three Wick Limited Edition Soy Fragrance in Sweet Cherries. If you missed that, I will of course link that review in the description box right below this video. I will also put a link to where you can purchase from Kringle Candle as well as a 15% discount code if you want to save a little bit of money. Um, so be sure to check the description box for that. And in this video, we are going to be focusing on two more fragrances that I picked up when these scents were first released over at Kringle. And typically I have the candles burning when I do these reviews so that there's some nice ambiance. But I figured for this one, I, want to I really want to show you guys close-ups of the wax and just show you how clean these have been burning. So um, yeah, they're not lit. <laughs> I also trimmed the wicks to the level that I typically trim them to um, in the happy birthday scent. So uh, yeah, you guys, let's get into it. All right. Both of these fragrances I have already reviewed on my channel. So Happy Birthday is actually a repackage of the Vanilla Cone scent from Kringle. And Donut Worry is a repackage of Donut Worry. So they didn't change the name of this one. Gotta admit, love, love the label of the Donut Worry. Uh, those like cartoony, super bright pastel donuts just grabbed my attention right away. And I already knew that I loved the scent um, for both of these. So I actually picked up two at the time they were released. I kind of expected them to sell out for some reason. I think I expected them to sell out because the reserve candles sold out so quickly. But these are both still available. So if you want them, you can definitely find them. You can actually also still find them, I believe, in their two-wick format as well. Um, so if you would rather not have the three wick, the two wick, just traditional jar, and I'll just hold up the, the Mon Amour here, but you can get them in these jars as well if you are just looking for the two wick. However, I will say if you are looking for more strength and throw, I'm gonna gear you towards the Kringle three wicks. The downside of the Kringle three wicks are that they are going to burn faster than the two wick. So as long as you are okay with that, you are getting more strength and throw, um, but the burn time is going to be diminished just a little bit. So something worth keeping in mind. Um, anyway, I'm quickly going to go over the fragrances here so that, you know, we can kind of just talk about if there's any differences. I will tell you, I, I don't think there is. So I'm going to pick up Happy Birthday here. Um, the notes, and I do love that they wrote the notes on the bottom for these. So this is not something that they've normally done in the past. But for Happy Birthday, we have powdered sugar, vanilla, butters, caramel, homemade waffles, and milk. Okay, yeah, so this just essentially smells like a vanilla ice cream type scent um, with that waffle note. Like, it's really, really a well done, um, more, I would say, mm, I wouldn't say it's quite French vanilla. I, I have a real dislike of French vanilla for some reason, specifically just like, French vanilla ice cream. I don't know why I think it's so disgusting, but I would much rather have a vanilla bean. D to me, French vanilla just tastes fake, right? <laughs> this, however, it smells like French vanilla, but not fake. I feel like they made the vanilla ice cream note in this smell more authentic than what French vanilla ice cream actually smells like in real life, which is hysterical to me. But yeah, it is a, it is just, it's a very basic scent. It's a wonderful gourmand. You're getting the waffle note. You're getting that like French vanilla ice cream note. It's great in that respect. Um, the Donut Worry, let's go ahead and take a peek at those fragrance notes. And this one I'm actually almost done with. I'm actually thinking about finishing this one up today. So here we have Baked Donut, Sweet Sprinkles, Slightly Fruity, Buttery, Nutmeg, Cinnamon, and Creamy Vanilla Icing. This just, 
I don't know that this really screams donut to me necessarily. It just screams sweet, almost doughy goodness. You definitely pick up the nutmeg and the cinnamon in here. You get that creamy vanilla note. Um, baked donut, I mean, I guess, like, like I said, there is a doughiness to this one, but it's not, um, like, it doesn't have that, like, greasy donut note, if you will. I know a lot of donut fragrances tend to focus a little bit more on that, like, greasy fried note when it comes to the donut. That's not what's happening here. Um, it's a little bit more doughy, if you will, but I like it. I, I just think it's a great kind of, again, I say generic, but I don't say generic in like a disrespectful way, just in a, it's a little bit more simple, right? Like this isn't an exotic fragrance. Neither of these scents are going to, um, I guess, transport you to like an exotic locale or anything like that. Um, they're just good basic gourmand scents that blend well, quite frankly, with a lot of other candles. So I love burning both of these with different fruity scents. Um, I love burning them with other gourmands. Um, just a really, just a really great basic gourmand duo here. They also smell great burned together. So if you are looking for kind of the ultimate like vanilla waffle cone, doughy, concoction, uh, you're going to get it here. So, but let's talk about the performance because I want to focus a little bit more on that. So you can see here with the donut worry. Now at this point, I don't feel like I need to trim these wicks here, by the way. Uh, but you can see that that wax color is still pretty much exactly the same as when I got the candle. The thing that I like about the soy versus the soy blend is that this wax never discolors and the soy blend would always look dirty and kind of gross. I'm just not experiencing that with this one at all. Like it has pretty much stayed this nice creamy color from start to finish. I have not dealt with an ounce of sooting or discoloration or scorching or anything like that in this scent. Um, I did uh, trim the wicks probably until just about the last burn, but these I'm not gonna trim. So um, I guess now that I'm at the end, um, this candle's gonna get even easier for me. Um, this one here, I did actually trim the wicks so that you can see how short I trim them. And I basically just took off the little nub that forms at the top. These don't really get huge mushroom tops per se, but they do get these little like nubs near the top that I just like to, clip off um, and you can see that that wax is still that nice creamy white not discolored no sitting no scorching strength and throw on both of these super consistent um, I'm gonna put the strength and throw of both at, like a seven out of ten for strength and a seven out of ten in terms of throw they're not quite as strong as the sweet cherries fragrance but pretty darn good you guys um I mean I think that a 7 out of 10 in terms of strength and throw is more than adequate um you know it definitely leans more towards like the medium high end of the spectrum I really enjoy both of these scents I see myself for purchasing them I'm hoping that they don't sell out and even if they do I hope they just continue to pour more of these um, I don't see why they wouldn't I feel like these are both probably pretty popular fragrances for them and they're quite enjoyable and again the fact that I can pair these with a lot of other scents that I'm currently burning even from different companies whether it's from homeworks whether it's from Bath and Body Works whether it's from Candleberry, I feel like these two scents just play well with a lot of different um, types of fragrances. So whether you have something fruity or another gourmand, this is a way to maybe beef those up or add a vanilla note if it's missing. Um, just really great fragrances, you guys. I'm giving both of these in terms of performance two big fat thumbs up. I am looking forward to finishing up the um, the donut worry and luckily I have a backup. <laughs> I'm really excited now to smell the new candles that are supposed to be delivered to me tomorrow from the most recent release. 
Um, like I mentioned in my other video, I picked up a lot of the lemonades. The only one that I did not get was the pineapple. Mm, I'm picky about pineapple, so I just skipped that one for now. I was going to see if some other people I know are planning on reviewing it and getting their take on it. Um, but if you happen to pick up the pineapple lemonade, will you let me know your thoughts? Um, I'm definitely anxious to get my hands on these and to start sniffing through them. I just think they're going to be really great fragrances for the summer. So yeah, anyway, you guys, uh, let me know if you have any questions at all. Let me know if you picked these up. I know some people were disappointed that Crinkle did not denote on their website that Happy Birthday was a package or a repackage, I guess I should say, of Vanilla Cone. Um, but... I do hope that in the future they take the advice of adding that information, at least in the description box somewhere there, because I think it, um, I think people get annoyed when they're expecting to get something new and it's a repackage. Um, Homeworks kind of got dinged for this. <laughs> Uh, a little bit this year as well. I, I truly, I don't mind a repackage. And honestly, um, sometimes I would prefer that over new, uh, especially if it's something that I really love. But that being said, I do think companies should be a little bit more forthcoming with that information because if you're expecting something new and you just get more of something else that you already have, I can see where that would be a major annoyance. So here's hoping that in the future they decide to delineate that somewhere um, in the description of the candle if it's a repackage. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I will have one more review for you a little bit later on today, and it's going to be of the watermelon scent that was released in this first round. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Otherwise, thanks so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.